Hi guys, this is Zizi here from Bagman Coaching and today we've got another episode, episode number 35 of Position of the Day. In today's episode, I want to show you one idea, one thing you may not have been noticing during an analysis of your matches and that's about this position. So it's a money game, normal score, again, that just doesn't matter and you've got 6-1 to play. You're five pips up before the roll and how would you play? What would you do? Uh, would you play 24-18, 8-7? Would you make the 7 with the 6? Then where would be the 1? So many choices and how to find the right move just with the right idea and the right mindset. That's what we are trying to set here. So pause the video if you want to think about it and let's go to the explanation. So uh, first... I'd start with the 6, well, that's just 13-7, there's just no way, uh, hopefully nobody would ever consider playing 24-18, 8-7, as well, you just get destroyed, you just get attacked, um, if you'd play 24-18, you just get it attacked with 1s, 3s, 6s, 4s, everything would just attack you, and well, to be honest, Nobody wants to be attacked and you would not be in a good shape. So, 6 seems clear. 13-7. Now we've got actually 3 possible options. And I can imagine if I ask 100 people, uh, everybody would have a different opinion or have a different guess. Not the opinion, probably. Um, well, we've got 3 options. We can play 24-23. We can play 6-5. Or we can play 4 2 3. Now, things there, every time you're thinking about a position, you need to have a theory basis, you need to know something about the position, what you are trying to accomplish, and then you need to have technical analysis, which means analy analyzing the current position, how you, how you see it, how you perceive it. For example, if there are some duplications, yeah. For example, uh, if there are arguments to play, let's say, 4-2-3, why would it be better to have a checker on the three point? Well, the, the arguments would be, we would be giving our opponent the deuce, right? So if the deuce work for him otherwise, yeah, for example, 4-2 is making the four point, but well, that's just it, right? Like nothing else. Nothing else uh, plays well for him with the deuce. Although, of course, if we keep the checker on a four point, now 3 1 plays well for him, 6 3 plays well for him, and at the same time, so here we can already see that just tiny technical analysis, this is better to keep the checker on the four. Additional technical analysis if we put the checker on the three, we are giving him good deuce to hit us. And good threes to just split here, which we don't want to see either, right? If we've got this position, if we keep the checker on the four point and he rolls the deuce, well, we are definitely happier. So that's how to easily find out why not to play 4-2-3. Now, the difficult part, and I think the part where some of you may struggle, whether to play 24-23 or 6-5. Um, if I should bet, I would bet most of the people would just play 24-23, which I can't bl blame them. That seems like a standard move. Well, just at the beginning, we are just always meant to split the back checkers, right, and so on. But we need to, again, have that theory basis and some um, understanding when not to do so, when it just doesn't make sense. We shouldn't be just doing it automatically. Because, well, what are we really gaining here by splitting the one? Uh, well, just completely nothing. Uh, I'm just going to ask you a question now. Do you actually know why splitting is so important at the beginning? What does splitting actually accomplish? Yeah. You know, think about this question, what I've just asked. Because if you don't know the answer to this, then, well... Why should we even be splitting, you know? I mean, then we are just doing something automatically 
and we don't know what purpose it has. So, well, when it's wrong, like now it is, we are not 100% able to understand why. So, I mean, it's not a big mistake, but it's like a detailed thing or theoretical thing we can know. And, well, uh, again, I can't go into the big depth here uh, why it's bad to just split 24, 23, but if I just, again, ask you simply, what would it accomplish now? If you don't know it in general, what would it accomplish now? I'm able to split anytime I want. I can split better with better numbers where I will be fighting for better points. Now, on the other hand, if I split, I'll expose myself, which I definitely don't want, right? I mean, I'm having the initiative. I'm having the power here. I'm building my board and I don't want to be on the bar. I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get double hit. Yeah, I just want to focus on making my four point and then taking care of my back checkers. Yeah. So in the shortcut, uh, splitting now would be more dangerous than beneficial to me. So this is why uh, 13, 7, 6 to 5 actually just makes the greatest sense. And yeah, from this video, I'd really like to just think about, uh, let you think about what's actually the purpose of splitting checkers. What are we accomplishing by that? And yeah, so put your, put your answers down in the, below in the comments. Very interested what's your, what your idea may be. If you knew, if you knew the idea of splitting, which I know I haven't told you yet, but soon, soon I will. So don't worry, uh, stay tuned and let me know. Have a good day and bye bye. Would you like to get better, but you are not sure where to start? Pygammon Coaching offers you three options on how to get better. First, we just published a six hour Pygammon course about all parts of the game for intermediate and advanced players to improve. Second, you can get an individual online lesson with me. Third, analysis of your matches. Get your answers, good and clear explanations to improve your game from the Grandmaster. For more information, check out our website, pagamcoaching.com.